pretty much this passage all state the very same thing. The Apostle Paul, sometimes we call him Saint Paul. Here's what he declares in verse 23. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and blood of the Lord. Okay. Let a person examine himself, and then shall eat of the bread. Drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body, eats and drinks judgment on himself. That's a powerful phrase. Without discerning the body. Often wrestled through the years and said, Lord, I don't know if I can confess every sin I can possibly think of. We do need to come with a contrary heart. And there is something that earlier we've done is to die. Wait for the Lord. And I think the real focus here is Paul is saying, we're not here to have a snack. We're not here to have a party. We're not here for the food. We're here for the city. Again, talk about impact. Every time we take the Lord's day, some churches take it every, every Sunday. It's not so much how much you take. It's when you take it, it needs to be impacting. And so, if you will take your communion item, and you know, I would just say, I am so thankful that Joseph found these. I think it's such a great way to share the Lord's day. I was not sure we should go back to the other. Uh, we were, we were the main challenge is getting it open. But there's a wafer on top representing the body of our Lord. We'll take that out. And I know that you really can't see it. But remember, just recently we had a sermon on breaking the bread. And how Jesus' body was broken for us. Maybe you want to break your way for this morning. Or you part of it. In remembrance of me. And so we do. Savior, we thank you for your sacrifice. We honestly cannot comprehend more than the horrible physical death was the weight and the wickedness of our sin and the wrath of your Father against us taken all for us. We love you. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, we open the cup. He said, this is the new covenant in my blood. All of you drink and so do you. It is done the Lord has commanded. Will you stand with me this morning? What is the number for the song? If, if you don't know this precious old song, Bless Be the Tide of Mine, it's 677. We normally
happen when, when COVID is done, I'm just giving you advance notice in case you're in the part of the resort. When COVID is done, we're going to circle the, the uh, sanctuary on the inside. <laughs> Maybe we'll get big enough to do it on the outside. But, uh, and we join hands and we sing together, Bless Me the God of Praise. And there's another song I want to begin to include sometimes because it's a precious one as well. God be with you till we meet again. That's also beautiful.